Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Nature Aquariums TV where today we're going to be discussing the nitrogen cycle and how it affects you. But before we go on, stay tuned for the whole video as I'll be posting a discount code for these products. And now for the rest of our video. So the first question of the day is, why do we need to cycle our tanks? And the real simple answer to that is this. When fish breathe, they're taking in oxygen, producing carbon dioxide, right, in the water. They're also producing lots of ammonia. And if the ammonia isn't controlled by cycling the tank, eventually it will build up so much that it could possibly kill some of your fish. So we're gonna show you how to cycle a tank today. So there's two common ways of cycling a tank. Whether, and it doesn't matter whether it's salt water or fresh water, the process is the same. The one way that's been used for many, many years has been with fish on salt water, getting like damsels, on fresh water, getting some tetras or, or guppies, in which you put it in there, you usually get a friend's, you know, piece of filter media, or you use a filter media from another tank or you use a product like this with bacteria and you put the fish in there. I personally don't like that method because not all the fish make it and it's very stressful for the fish and it could possibly get your other fish sick. So I wanna to talk to you today about fishless cycling the tank. So in fishlessly cycling a tank, it really means that using no fish to get the tank cycled. And this guys applies to both saltwater and freshwater tanks. So normally, freshwater tank, you would fill it with dechlorinated water, right? Use one of these products. The next thing you would do for both salt and fresh, you would put in a bottle of bacteria in there. But that bacteria isn't going to live unless you give it a source of ammonia. Where normally, having fish in there would feed the bacteria and keep it going, we need to give it a source of ammonia. And this is where a product from Fritz called Fishless Fuel comes in because it is ammonia in a bottle. And basically by keep adding it every two to three days, you keep the ammonia levels high, the bacteria keeps multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. Next thing you know, it's covered your live rock, it's covered your decorations, it's covered your filter media, and it will get your tank to the point that it's ready to add fish, just like if the tank would have been around for a long time. And another important thing to help you cycle your tank as efficiently as possible is to make sure you have a place for the bacteria to live on. And that means on a saltwater tank, you gotta have live rock. Whether you buy it dry or have it wet, you still need to put it in there. And on a freshwater tank, you need to have a place for the bacteria to live. And that means make sure that your filter, you have all the cartridges in there or that you get media in there, whether it's a canister filter or a hang on the back for the bacteria to live there. Without that, you're not gonna get the cycling that you are looking for. So, you've been adding all the products, you've been putting the ammonia, you now wanna know, hey, is my tank cycle? When can I put fish in, right? So one of the things that you're gonna do is use a test kit to test for ammonia and to test for nitrite. You wanna make sure that then your ammonia is down to zero and your nitrites are down to zero and that your nitrates have shot up. That is a great indicator that your tank is cycled. And of course, always use your local fish store to double check your water, but you should be ready to add fish. Now, I gotta tell you something about freshwater, guys. With the cities really filtering your water, they've been doing something that's really been affecting the cycling of tanks. And that is when the alkalinity rises too low, the tank stops cycling. So make sure you check it, your alkalinity with a KH test kit. There's a lot of different forms. And if your KH is less than two, use something like an alkaline buffer or crushed coral to get it up because otherwise you'll have a hard time cycling your tank. So if you guys are in need of any of these products to cycle your tank or to test your water, remember to use our discount code below to use it both online at natureaquariums.com or in store at Nature Aquariums in Lauderdale, and we'll see you in person. Guys, thanks for watching the video again. We appreciate your support. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave comments below with questions you may have or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching.